Caroline, we have the latest now on a tragic infant death investigation out of Warwick. We're learning more tonight about the family's history with the Department of Children and Families. Seven-month-old Willow, Willow Ramos was found unresponsive in her home last night. Her father, Ryan Bealey, is charged with child neglect. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in Warwick now with more on DCYF's prior contact with the family. Steph? As police continue to investigate this tragic infant death, we are learning that the Department of Children, Youth and Families have been called regarding this family before. Willow Ramos's short life ended Tuesday night after police say she was found unresponsive by her mother. Neighbors looking on as Willow was rushed to the hospital. I heard like a woman like scream like, help, come here, that we're over here. The infant's father, Ryan Bealey, charged with felony, cruelty to, or neglect of a child. I just don't see how anybody can do that to their child. You're supposed to be there to protect them, not, not bring them home. Bealey arraigned in family court Wednesday where our cameras are not allowed. His charge carries up to three years in prison. Police have not yet disclosed what he allegedly did to warrant the charge. At this time, a cause of death is unknown. It all happened at the family's Airway Road home. We will tell you that the home was in relatively deplorable conditions. Warwick police say the home had code violations and family members expressed concern when Willow was just six weeks old. They had some concerns as to the suitability of the parents. The Department of Children, Youth and Families confirming their contact with the parents, telling Eyewitness News, quote, we twice investigated concerns communicated through our child abuse hotline. Upon investigation, in both cases, we concluded that the allegations were unsubstantiated. DCYF therefore never formally opened a case. Now, separately, the state's Office of the Child Advocate says they are now reviewing this case, and that independent agency said today that ups their total number of cases currently under review to four child deaths and two near deaths. Live in Warwick tonight, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.